And next we have Nipplegate. That's right. Otherwise known as the main event of the pay-per-view, uh, the, you know, called Hell in a Cell. And it took place in a cell I'm, from hell. I know red. you can't see yourself, and they can't see us yet. No, man. But you have a look like you're about to go into rare form on this. I, I am. And I'm going <laughs> to listen and enjoy <laughs> about this. About to drop bars. So. Pipe bomb alert. I am a big Cody Rhodes fan. I'm also a very big Seth Rollins fan. I loved uh, since ever. I loved Seth Rollins' 2015 run when he had the title. I mean, I might be a title whore, but I loved Seth Rollins' work. I hell, I liked him as Tyler Black. Nothing against Seth Rollins. I don't like the laugh. The laugh's got to go. Whoever told him the laugh is good, get rid of it. The Drip God thing, totally cool. Architect, cool. I like the monikers changing. His in-ring work, he's one of the very best that exists right now. Seth. I got no issue with Seth Rollins' in-ring work. I got no issue with this feud. I like this feud. This feud's got a lot of meat on the bone. Cody needed a feud like this to come into the WWE with, and I'm glad that they chose this. I wasn't sure how they got there. I thought it was a little rickety, but, you know, Vince once in a while makes a great choice. Mm -hmm. Holding off Cody without any hint of it on TV until WrestleMania was the right move. Okay. Had he shown up on, say, the Raw before Mania or the SmackDown before Mania... I don't think he'd have the same impact he has right now. Mm. But that being said, why does Cody have such impact? Because he gave almost a five-star match between him and Seth Rollins at Mania. It was wonderful. Mm. So, of course, you want to see more of this. And right now, unfortunately, my tribal chief has forsaken us. Mm. And I'm very upset about it because we need something to carry us. And that's fine. But today, we heard, actually, as we were getting food, you addressed about Cody being injured, and I said, say what? Mm -hmm. And I looked it up. Now, I looked it up, and they said that Cody had tore his pec Ooh. and tendon completely Ooh. off the bone. Remember, John Cena had this injury. Mm. Uh, Triple H had this injury. Mm -hmm. Multiple others have had this injury. Yep. So I'm like, if he doesn't come out bruised to all hell, he doesn't have this injury. <laughs> and second of all, if he's bruised to all hell, us as fans shouldn't want him to come out. You know, mm -hmm. you want him at his top form. Don't don't take away something that he's worked for. So what happens? Seth gets the ring. Ha 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 ha. Does his drip god like zooming airplane thing around the ring, yeah. and then Cody's music plays. But it plays longer than usual, and I'm like, okay, is this the point where what's his name comes you thought out? John Cena was gonna. Come I off thought for we were gonna. Hear <laughs> I thought trumpets were going to play. But, um, you know, just the, the dry ice and the fog lifted, and I said, wow, it's taking too long. Cody's definitely not here. And sure enough, he came out. But he came out, you know, but he didn't come out, like, limping or anything. He came out with the whole, you know, energy with the yeah, hands to the yeah. crowd, trying to do the fist pump and all that crap. And he's coming to the ring. And by the way, Cody's ring gear, I love it so much. It does need to change a little bit. There needs to be some variation. I love the Homelander. The colors are, are very every time he's on top. I know, but I love the... No, I mean the jacket needs to change. Like, I love the Homelander look. It's from AEW. It's a holdover. It's great. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a boys, the boys fan um, of the comic and the show. So I think that's cool. But he gets to the ring, and then he disrobes after the announcement. And he is purple like grimace <laughs> like he is just straight purple looks like barney and i'm like shit if that's real he is in throbbing pain like what is he doped up with right now Are you they, they, got us you got us at the beginning you got us you at the beginning us, and i'm like ethically there's no way he'd be medically cleared for this type of a match or if he was we were expecting what a five minute Okay. Fest yeah, yeah, that yeah, would exa end. Exactly because that because that would make sense. And um, you know, like we've seen this, th we've seen this before in sports. Uh -huh. You know, the Michael Jordan food game, which is actually food poisoning, allegedly. Yeah. Um, he, Isaiah Thomas uh, playing right. in the NBA Finals with a with a, with a sprained ankle. Right. You know, like we've seen these things. Wrestlers often wrestle hurt. CM Punk don't... wrestled with a broken foot on dynamite. <laughs> Look at that. There you go. So. We're, 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 we're looking like this, and we're saying, okay, well, realistically, this wouldn't last too long. No. Because, I mean, if, if, if his pec is torn off the muscle, he's not going to be able, he's going to be extremely limited. Everything and, would hurt. And he worked it because, you know, he, he, stayed, he stayed off the right side of his body. For a while. 
for a while, don't do doing only only Self left hands. Southpaw jabs, right? Exactly, and it was believable because you're like he's saying. Self, by the way, southpaw jabs would be right jabs. That, southpaw is left. No, no, that means your left hand is power. No, that's, your left is would be your. Okay, power I'm hand. sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, wh- whatever. I'm not a boxer, <laughs> but you know he wasn't using his right side for his offense at the beginning of the match. He sold it. They did a great job of the psychology, and I'm like, okay. But then when Seth took the kendo stick and jabbed it into his pec while he was on the ground and really pushed, I'm like, man, he would be in freaking agony. The intention was great. Right. Even even like like the look and what happened, the execution was great. It was just way too much extra here. And way this is going to be one of those occasions where I'm going to penalize them Absolutely. For, the, Me too. For, the, for the extraness. Me too. Because the, ch- the table, the table spot... You only needed one. Right. The buckle bomb one. The yeah. buckle bomb one should have ended the match. It should have been over. Then, then, why, then why do it? Because exactly. because he's hurt. Peck peck off the muscle. Half he's hurt. Bomb, right. It's okay. He's trying to wrestle hurt. One two kick out. Good lord, you're, you're going to keep this thing going on, right? Because now now it looks phony after that. It was completely yeah. And that's when we started to. No, they say, wait a minute. This is the cynics in us. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I'm like, wait, because we kept saying, is my mind, our minds playing tricks on each other? Is our mind playing tricks on His, ourselves? He was purple, purple when the match started, and it seemed to cover almost his entire right pectoral. But as the match wore on, because Danelle, so um, he smartly put, let's see what happens when he sweats. Yes. What happens? Because I'm like, they wouldn't be dumb enough to do makeup job. That would be foolish to think we'd buy that. But then he started to sweat towards the climax of the match. Yeah. And I noticed areas were getting pinker, mm-hmm. which I don't know. I'm not a, I'm not a sports medicine person. I don't know how, you know, anatomy works in that way. But I didn't understand why it was getting really, really pink on purple. Yeah. But then I noticed you could start seeing more of his nipple. <laughs> So then we began wa- paying more attention I mean, to that. We were paying attention to his nipple than the match. And what was, a sh- what was a shame is, I said this to you, the match itself was really good. Was really, 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 really good. Really good. Really, really, really good. Had it ended on, on the first table spot. Yeah, but even if it ended on the pedigree, it would have been great. Yeah, we're just, we're just, we're just throwing away all these, all these finishers. But I mean, and then he no sold his own. You know, yeah, he know, he know, yeah. See, like, it's I, 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 I wouldn't have mind Seth winning with the, with the, with the power, with the power bomb, the power turn buckle bomb, whatever. Yeah, yeah, it is. the power, the buckle do, bomb. Do, yeah, the buckle bomb. Do, do, do the, do the table because you know you have a wounded warrior in right. there, and I, and, and I, and at the time, the it was whatever, believable. Whatever it was, it was believable. Yep. I think, I think that. You know that that would have drawn Cody some sympathy, and yeah. could have kept this thing going on. You know, Co- Co- yeah. Cody Cody could always get you. Hey, you know, you got me when I was at fifty yeah. percent. Now I'm yeah. at one hundred percent. Was 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 going on? And I know this would have been, it would have been their fourth match. Right. But, um, it, it's the, it would have kept it alive. Yeah. I mean, I know Vince wants to send everyone home happy, but I wouldn't uh, have been mad with this. I wouldn't have been mad with this. What 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 got me mad was, you know, I understand. Listen. We are wrestling fans. By no means do we think this is real. No means are we under the illusion that this is real. But do not, on top of us knowing it's not real, insult our intelligence. Bam. And that is what you had done tonight. Now, had this been a straight-up contest, we mm-hmm. know he's hurt. There's rumors that he's actually hurt. And I think he might be hurt. Yeah. But does he have a torn pack? There is no, no fucking way in the world he has a torn pack. <laughs> because the Cody Cutter... Three steps into the match would have ripped your... Mo- you, you would have been in agony. You'd have been falling on the ground. Yeah. So for him to do 25 minutes on top of that approximately was just ludicrous. Mm. And then not only that, we're, we're, we're a couple things at Smart Tank Wrestling where we are the no, we are very big on long title reigns, and I know Donnie more than myself is a big proponent of protect the finisher. Mm. And man, does the crossroads look like if you take less than four of them, you are a weak ass bitch because <laughs> you can't get pinned with one crossroads. It's impossible. It's not the RKO. It's not the RKO. That. It's not the the lights out finisher that you need. But hey, to the same proponent, Seth, Seth Rollins 
Stomp is becoming that too. He gives like three or four stomps a match now. Yeah, yeah. There, there's multiple finishes, and they're done multiple times. Right. Um, but yeah, like I, said, I had to I had to penalize them. Normally, these guys. This would have got a three to a three point five territory yes, tonight. Yes, and I believe our history with these two replicates that. Three point five. Three three point five. Yeah. But it's a one two three count scale. We go above that for these two. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, like no. I, I, I did, I did, I did, pe- I did penalize them. I gave them a two. I gave them a two point five, right? Yeah, well, I I'm actually didn't write down, but I'm giving them a two. I'm giving them a two. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna. I'm give giving them, them a two. two. They're getting verbally penalized by me for a two. This, this is the same feeling I had, and maybe the cell, Hell in the Cell pe- uh, pay per view is marked by this. This is how I felt after the Fiend and Seth Rollins Hell in the Cell. Where oh, yeah, Seth yeah, yeah. beat him to death with everything in the world, and it was Michael Myers where you know he hit him with the fridge and the um, you know the the toolbox and everything in the universe that you could imagine. It got into that territory of like, well, what the hell is it gonna take? And right. it got to the point where it was so ridiculous. And then you have you, you mean to tell me you hit him with seventeen toolboxes, <laughs> but one lone spear from Goldberg? Is the, is, the, is the knockout shot. And listen, why are kendo sticks under the what ring? What the hell? I know. Where are these ninjas at? <laughs> but yeah, it, you know, okay. We talked about this, and on, on an all serious note, we love the product. That's why we criticize it. We yes. know it can do better. Yes. We're not those fans who just bitch to bitch. We bitch because one time, when we bitch, it's justified. Yes. And this is one of those times that I just don't get the booking behind this. It makes me scratch my head. I felt like this when Finn Balor brought the demon out against Roman and he got beat by the top rope falling. Like, it's just one of those, why are you doing this? Mm. So, we went in saying, does Cody go three up straight or does Seth win one? And in this situation, if Seth wins one like you just mentioned... Wait, can we also mention what Seth was wearing? Oh, yes, I'm so sorry. This is a very big point of the match. And I think this took us out as well. Had we not been focused on Nipplegate, we would have been able to really appreciate more the psychological warfare that Seth Rollins brought to this by wearing the pink and bla- pink and yellow polka dots, which I thought was genius. The black and yellow polka dots. God damn it. Black and yellow polka dots. I'm seeing pink and yellow like elephants. No, the black and yellow polka, polka dots. I thought it was genius. Yeah. I thought it was a really cool twist. Mm. And what I meant to say when we... I, we opened up this segment about there being a lot of meat on the bone with this. This isn't just the now. If you follow Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins and you follow Dusty Rhodes, you know that Seth Rollins was Dusty's hand-chosen picked person to be NXT's first champion. He Mm -hmm. stood behind Seth Rollins very high. This was at a time where Cody Rhodes was in the main roster Mm -hmm. and all the buzz was about Seth Rollins. So whether you meant to put this together or it just kismetly happened when he came back from AEW, it works on so many levels. There's so many ways you can play this. You didn't need makeup and a pectoral job Mm. to sell this. It sold itself. And the match itself, if they didn't have all that extra, as you put, it would have been a 3.5 territory because it was so good. Yeah, yeah. Those two dance really well together. It's just... It's just uh, a shame they try to get run one on us. Right. Do you but, know what this is? This is what Triple H and Batista tried to be during that 2005 run when Batista won the title and they went three straight. Hmm. This is what they wanted to look like. Hmm. But this mars it because like, I'm watching it and I'm just focused on how purple he is. <laughs> so, I mean, again, um, we'll close on this. I, I, I haven't gone down the card. There's nothing really to bitch and complain about. This is not Royal Rumble. This was a pretty good card. Yeah. I, I, you know, if I saw the show live, I'd be damn happy if yeah. I saw this. I, I'm going home happy, saying so, money well spent. You're right. Besides Mania, this was the best offering of the year. There you have it, guys. Concession. Donnie wins. Not nah, playing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for listening. As always. As always. And be on the lookout for some more episodes of The Essentials. We have some pretty interesting stars coming up. And what we're going to do now is we're going to pr- we're gonna premiere them. So, like, you guys will know who's coming up. So, on Smart Tank Tuesdays, look out for us. I just want to say one more thing. Amber Heard is no longer a viable option for movie theaters and movie studios. 
But apparently after tonight, she could have a new lease on life by selling bruise kits to rustlers. <laughs> and that would be great. Take care, everyone.